Hi everyone, welcome to Solaris Gaming and today I'm going through the Tap Titan 2 Helper app. Now if you're not too sure what the Tap Titan 2 Helper app is, it's this cool app which is a guide and has many features and tutorials and tips and tricks on how to play Tap Titans 2. It's If you have any questions or you're not sure about anything, it's, it's pretty much a one-stop shop for the information you might need for the game. It's, it's a great beginner's guide. If you just start the game, I would really recommend to check out. It is available on Android and Apple app stores. I will put the links to the download description below. It's made by Alexander. It's also known as Kramer. Now Kramer has been off the app for the last couple of months, I think three or four months. But it has recently come back in the last couple of weeks um, after a long holiday. So welcome back Kramer. And he's just have some amazing updates and he's going back into the app again. So we'll have regular updates on the builds new functions he's got this new clan directory he mentions it on his recent reddit updates and tutorial posts i will put a link to his latest reddit posts below and also for free to support the creator of this app for his hard work he does it in his free time for free and it's a free app so if you wish to support him his uh, patreon link will be in the description now, it is a quite self-explanatory app but i will go through what you can expect and all the option menus and just a quick rundown of how to use the app. So first download the app from the Android or Apple Play Store. It will look like the icon you can see on the screen. So once you've downloaded it, you come to the home screen. This should be your first interaction. The menu bar is situated at the bottom, which has the home icon, the tools icon, wiki icon, and the settings. Now I'll start with the settings first. You can change it from light to dark theme. I prefer dark. And you can send feedbacks and suggestions straight to Kramer. So you can click on that and it'll do an in-message email or you can email him directly. There's his email address there. Or there's a link direct to his Discord server. I would recommend to join his Discord. And also some credits to Alistair, Lemonama, Taco, Nikita, Sergey, Valchesla, Max, Alexi, they helped him with the uh, testing creation of this app. And as I mentioned before, you can give you a direct email or Discord message to Kramer if you need to. So back to the homepage. I so said this would be the very first thing you see. The first bit of information would be your previous tournament and upcoming tournaments. And it tells you when it will start and the dates of the tournaments as well and what's expected. Then it has four bar menus and then four listed menus. So I'll go through each one. So this first one is the builds guides. So if you click on it, it'll give you optimized builds or builds for beginners. So if you are new, I'll recommend to click on the bottom one first. So this is recommended between zero and 150 skill points. So the main builds for these ones, you have less than 50, so pretty much to start in the game. The new pet heart Madas build and anything between 50 and onwards, then use clan ship, pet, heart of Madas build. So if you click on the sections you wish, so if you click on pet, it will have suggested build trees displayed, starting with the lower skill points, and then you just scroll left or right. This is color coordinated to be the same layout as in the skills in the game. So you have knight for orange, warrior for yellow, sorcerer for blue, and rogue for green. So this is in the same layout formation, so you have the skills at the first line, second line, third line for Rogue, and then it's exactly the same. So it has the same grid formation layout. So just follow the grid formation as shown. I also got information about the builds if you scroll down, so which equipment you should be equipping. So the first bullet point is your main effect, and the second bullet point is your secondary effect. Then it gives some notes about the the actual build itself and it's exactly the same with clan ship it's just got a different layout and it gives you recommendations on how to use the build and it says you've got enough skill points for more than 150 choose a more effective build from the tap titan 2 company and then once you got past 150 skill points you click on the bottom bar which says tap titans 2 builds company the different types of builds for the 150 plus now i will really recommend if you are over 150 skill points and to say run about 500 skill points, use clan ship build, it's the more stablest one. Now you can do Shadow Clan and Heavenly Strike, but if you do change to those builds quite early, uh, if you don't have the right artifacts or enough mana regen, then they're just because they're too weak, you won't push as much. Um, or you'd be spending ages waiting for your mana to refill to use the skills. So just bear in mind that clan ship will be the most stable 
and Shadow Clone and Heavy Strike are more for when you got more, a lot more skill points and artifacts collected. So, you know, 500, 600 skill points. If you want more, much more detailed information about builds, I will link all the build guides playlist in the icon on the top right hand of the screen and in the description below. So it gets exactly the same as before, you click on which builds you want. So if you want clan ship, it then gives you the pet hover dust with no anchoring or with anchoring, and you can click on it and exactly the same. It gives you different skill trees and you just pick which one, which is the closest to your skill point area. So this is between 247 and 3181. And then it's got a bit about the build itself. So what recommended, the requirements needed for the build, the different equipment and the type of gameplay you'll be using and just a couple of notes about the Astral Awakening and Coordinated Defense and different skill methods. So give that a read. This is the Shadow Clone Pet Half Madas build. For the Shadow Clone build, and there is an important note to mention that you need to work out your Eternal Darkness recommended level. It does do a suggested one on the build in this section here. But I would recommend before you do a shadow clone, do a bit of homework first. So if you get out, out of this area um, and then go to tool section, it has an ED calculator here. So if you click on the ED calculator, and then you need to input your max stage, your intimidating presence level, mystical impact level, arcane bargain level, and, and if you've got anniversary platinum skip and what the effect on that skip is. And if you're not too sure, you can click on the question mark and top hand right hand corner and it'll just explain more about the ED calculator. This is Eternal Darkness. It tells you what I mentioned before. So enter your max stage, enter your arcane bargain, enter your passive skills. This is all found on the first tab in game. And once you fill that in, it'll give you the recommended information at the bottom. So new ED level required, it'll just update that information there. So once you found that information where your ED level should be, and when you go back into the Shadow Clone build, you just gotta make sure that's leveled up to the required ED level first and then fill in the rest. Make sure you've got enough skill points. And lastly, you've got the Heavenly Strike build. And exactly the same, it's, that's between 597 and 3347 skill points. And you just copy which skill point table you're closest to. And it's got some notes and requirements for the build, the recommended equipment to have, the type of gameplay you'll be using. So this be mentioned about how you start playing the game with leveling your skills. And then it's just a bit note by a lack of mana because Heavy Strike is very mana hungry. So it says you can use activate mana perk or pump more skill points into mana siphon. And I also recommend to buy a lot of fluffers. So you can use fluffers. High level flubbers will help with your mana regen as well. And there's also a section for optimized builds. This is builds made from the community themselves. They should be quite similar than the other builds. They might be a slightly different in one or two skill points, but generally they'd be quite close to the other builds. And these are made by Cat. And then the next icon, so that's all build, build information. And mainly the builds are for Pet Heart of Madas. You can use the skill tree builder. So you click on that, skill tree reset. Do you want to reset your skill tree? Reset. And this one, you can just put in your own skill points. What you do is click on the item, it tells you how much skill points are required, and there's click on more information if you need to know how many skill points are needed and what the effect you get from leveling up the skill points. So for example, on level five, it takes three skill points. So that would be a total of 11 skill points up to that level and that is the effect you get. Now, once you can add them or you can minus them, we're using these ones. For example, if you want five in there and there, do so. Remember, it will not allow you to unlock the skill unless the corresponding skill in front of it is unlocked first. So just like the skill tree in the game, you can't unlock something unless you've got the required skill points to do so. So for example, I can't unlock Ancestral until I've unlocked these two first and it'll tell you the requirement in case you're too short. So it says I need 20 skill points in the tree before I can unlock it. This is a good thing to do if you wanna try a different own hybrid before doing a reset in game and spending diamonds. So this way you can work out to make sure you definitely do have enough skill points and kind of want what skill tree. And you can also share it by clicking on this icon at top right and you can just take a screenshot and you can share it with your clan mates when Discord. So this is a great way if you do want to use it make up your own build or do a hybrid build to use that function skill builder. Then you can click on equipment. This is equipment set list or equipment set guide. 
the guide. We'll give you a link directly to Lemon Llama's equipment guide that's on the Reddit page. A very, very useful guide. I recommend reading it through that. The best thing about Lemon Llama's guide on Reddit page is that at the bottom, it will take you the order, the recommended order, get the sets for the set bonuses by build. So for example, if you're rocking a clan ship build and you're not too sure which shards to spend first and which builds to complete first, it gives you a list order priority. They've, they've put Noble Fencer first. If you're already in a high level clan that has a quite high advanced start, you might not need Noble Fencer first. You could go with Ancient Warrior. So you could decide which one. And the equipment set list gives you more information about equipment sets themselves. So it's just much, much more detailed information if you want to know what, what each set does and what the effects you get for them. And the third icon is your card list. So this is your card list. So this is all the cards that are in a game and their abilities. So just click on it for more information. So this is more of an index cards and info. Then you have the meta raid decks. So if you own all the cards, it's good to use these ones. It's good recommendations. So these are tier ones and there's a combination of tier ones and tiers two. And then tier one raid decks. So use these if you don't have all the cards yet. So if you're a beginner or if you're in tier one raiding, there's just a couple of suggestion ones you could use. And if you're still not too sure, then I have done a deck raid guide. Let's just have a look in the description playlist or in the icon above and this is the artifact button so you can have artifact cost or artifact list so if you can click on it that you can do it by damage gold or other if you depending which one you want to prioritize and you click on the gear icon at the top you can do it alphabetical order if you want that set set on or off and then it gives you a list of the artifacts and you can click on each one for more information about it and the artifact value so is tier a so the artifact value just means the, the higher the number the best suited for the build it is so for example so this one so most case sword because it increases the sword master heavenly strike and shadow clone because this increases heavenly strike and shadow clone it's got more points and those builds because it doesn't have a multiplier for clan ship or pet so it makes sense that it's got more points artifact value for those types so that gives you uh, just a, an idea of which artifacts are more suited for your build so if you've ever wondered what artifacts are best for your build then you can click on this and it gives you an example so for example if you if you're running a clan ship you think oh my tiny tiny titan tree artifacts quite low then you know it's got a high point in it so you might as well level it and then the artifact cost this is how much how many relics it costs to level up the artifacts this is done and then you click on this if you want it this is done in letters and you click on this if you want it in scientific notation which i would recommend and scientific notation just basically means it's how many zeros is after the e so it's got e39 just means it's 39 zeros after the e so just it's very easy to use it just means the higher the number after the e the better and it's just easy to understand then alphabetically. And then you've got tournament schedule. So if you click on tournament schedule, it says when the next ones are due, the dates is due. It just gives you a quite an advanced list of when the next tournaments are. And then you've got beginner's information. This is very good. This is quite in depth. Some quite good tips if you are a beginner. So it says, I'm a stuck. How do I progress? Uh, you actually cannot get stuck in Tap Titans 2. You just need to prestige, buy new artifacts, and keep prestiging and get new artifacts and put more power in artifacts. Now there is a bunch of other tips we advise as well. For example, make sure you've got the right build, start collecting pets and equipment sets and there's other features that can help you. Rule of thumb of pushing is just to keep doing more prestiges to level up your artifacts and buy more artifacts. That's pretty much the majority of what the game is. And also some other tips there saying join the strongest clan and the reason to join the strongest clan is to increase your advanced start and you can go up to a max of 90% depending on the level of the clan. And uh, what it basically means is that when you prestige, you start at 90% of your max stage. So you, you start at a higher stage than they were, you would normally would do, which makes your run shorter, which means you can do more runs and collect more relics. So joining the high level clan is very beneficial. And it says, there is another note as well, take advantage of the optimized skill tree. This loads of skill trees, optimizes skill build tools. Yes, you can use, for example, you can use this one. There's plenty of links out there. Feel free to browse the playlist and have a look at them all. 
If you've got any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. Beginners builds, this goes back to the section we mentioned earlier, Artifact Optimizer. This is linked to the Tap Titans 2 Compidium link. And this is done by a cookie, MMLH and Parrot. So this takes a link outside the app. So just be aware it will link to the external Excel sheet. So this is Parrot's artifact guide. So you just got to fill in the details there. Again, I've made a video on how to use the app. So look in the playlist and there's some additional tips. Man, the newest edition is called a uh, clan directory. This is where you can look at teams that are searching for clan members these are the requirements the best thing to look at is the the advanced stage start that's the as this watch it what it means so if this is the higher the better so example that's uh, five percent at 77 percent it just means if you join this clan instead of this clan if you meet the requirements then you would be able to do faster runs you can click on it and it'll take exactly the requirements and information you might need. And sometimes they have links to the Discord and other, and other areas. A very good example, there's a clan here that's got about 70% advanced start. So it's good, not, not amazing. Uh, UK here is quite good, but this clan here called Cherbera is actually run by Soros Gaming, which is me, that guy who makes Tap Titan 2 videos. Anyway, we've got some slots available, so feel free to join. We do is click on the Discord link and you can send a message for free to join the Discord if you've got any questions, if you want to join the clan and if you want to hang out with other Tap Titan 2 players and a bunch of friendly lovely people. We well, also stream as well and I use the Discord to chat to the streamers. If you want to add your own clan directory just click on the plus icon at the top right and you do add, update or edit. If anything goes wrong you can contact Kramer on that contact button below. Now for the tool section, this has quite a lot of cool features. You've got advanced stage. This one you just put in your clan XP and enable fencer and it shows you the uh, advanced stage start that you would get. The ED calculator, which we went through earlier. Clan stats, you can put in your clan XP and it gets you advanced start. It's pretty much the same as advanced start. SP and IP prediction. It's currently based only on the in-game formulas and does not take into account additional sources of SP. For example, daily rewards, donates, rewards and tournaments and so on. So for every 15 stages, starting from stage 50, you get one skill point. And of every 500 stages, starting from stage 50, you also get an additional one skill point. So what this basically does is predicting your skill points and Im intimidating presence you'd get. So for example, if I put down my stage at 72,000 and I also had a uh, mechanized sword set full set complete, because you get a bonus from that, it would say I would get a predicted 1,584 skill points and my uh, intimidating presence level would be level 60. And uh, if I had this set, it would then be 73. So if you ever wanted to know, for example, you got you want to try out a skill build and it says, oh, the required skill skill point amount for this build is 500 skill points plus, and you're at stage 2000 and you're wondering, oh, how many stages will that take me? Well, you just put in the amounts you think it might be. So this one would be run about max stage to uh, 23,000 will get you over 506 skill points so you know if you level up to run about that max stage is when you have enough skill points to do that build so it's just good for working things like that out uh optimizers so you've got artifact optimizer and skill tree optimizer and these are the links as i mentioned before that you go to the tap titan 2 compadium websites so when you click on them it sends you out externally from the app so just bear that in mind and this is the skill point optimizer spreadsheet and this is Parrot's one. And you just got to fill in the information in the green. It pumps out the info you need. And always make sure you make a copy first before editing. And again, if you're ever stuck on any of these build guides, I have gone through them all. Just check out the, the Tap Titan 2 playlist. And Skill Tree Builder. This is a direct link to the same Skill, skill Tree Builder that's on the main screen, this one. So then you go to the final section, the wiki. And this is just the information section really, so you can search it if there's a specific item you're not sure about. Say if you want to find more about, say, say tournaments. So if you have a look at tournaments, it's got tournament information and it'll just give you a link there. And or you can use the main menu, so you've got artifacts, it's the artifact list, artifact cost, artifact tier, builds, tournament information, 
complete tournament guide, can ship guide, card list, meta deck. So most of this is already covered on the previous icons, but a couple of the other ones will give you so the ones that say like by Lemon Llama, uh, how to play build guides, beginners build guides by Lemon Llama. All these are normally uh, external links to Reddit page about that information and miss passive skills. This is a bit of information about in game about passive skills, what level and how much dust you need to spend to get that level and same with power surge how many pets you need to get that pet level so if you want more, more information about passive skills you can have a look in this section here every tool is always helpful in some way so thanks to kramer for making this and sharing this with us as i mentioned before any questions leave a comment below i will put links to all this in the description i hope this video has helped and i'll see you all next week take care I just want to say a quick thank you to Titi Natty, Matsuru5, Dark MPM, Alfie Brazer, Purple Ace, Matsuchu, Cogsy, Tech Quackery, and Crystal for the support. And if you haven't done so already, send me a message in Discord to get access to the VIP only channel. And thanks again for watching. Take care.